Well, Connell, as you just reported, the nation's largest electronic retailer reporting adjusted earnings of 35 cents a share for its third quarter. Now, for a closer look at Best Buy, I'm joined with Jeff Green, a retail expert and the president and CEO of Jeff Green Partners, Burr Fleckinger, a retail analyst from Strategic Resources, and Gary Hagar, the president and founder of Integrated Wealth Management. Jeff, I want to start with you. What's your reaction? This number, to me, my reaction was, wow, what does it say about the company in the holiday season so far? Well, I thought it was a great number. Glad to see it. Um, but what I wonder is, what is that saying about other electronics retailers? That is, um, for example, are people not shopping Circuit City because of some of their um, financial difficulties and shopping Best Buy instead? Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, Bert. Best Buy, though, has had this reputation for a long time of being the preeminent play in this space. Uh, Circuit City filed for bankruptcy. It's the also ran. Plus, they're running the worst commercials on TV right now. <laughs> but Best Buy stock hasn't reflected its darling status in a while. What do you think this is going to do for the stock? For the stock, you'll see a little bit of a pop, Charles. It's down about 80 percent year over year. Uh, but with Best Buy asking 4,000 of their employees, as Connell reported, uh, to take a leave with seven to 12 months severance and admitting that it's a tough time to do it. They're cutting costs. They'll be the net consolidator. They're one of the best run retailers worldwide, but it's Brad Anderson, their CEO, said it's a seismic sales shift this season. So, Gary, do we sort of discount what we're hearing, what we're hearing today, this incredible news and focus on like the 50 percent cut in CapEx spending and all the belt tightening for next year? No, I mean, uh, it's good news all around. I was very impressed. And I'm, I, people have asked me, you know, what, what is your opinion of Best Buy going forward? And I absolutely believe it's a buy. It, should, it is a Best Buy. It's something people should be adding to the portfolio. And they'll be the ones in this space, especially electronics. Even with Walmart kind of nipping at their heels a little bit, the buying experience is not the same at Walmart as it is at Best Buy. I don't think it ever will be. So I think long term, Best Buy emerges as a real buy in here and will be a lot higher come the next six to 12 months. Jeff, you know, on that topic, uh, this company not having a lot of competition, if you will, from Circuit City, is it possible that Best uh, Walmart, for instance, could start to do more than just nip at their heels? Well, I think uh, Walmart has actually done more than nip at the heels this holiday season. Uh, as you'll remember, on Black Friday, we saw many flat screen TVs um, coming out the door at uh, Walmart. So I think they're already doing a little more than nipping at the heels, but uh, and I think that that will continue uh, certainly through 2009. You know, Bert, it's interesting. We talk about the lack of a killer product this year. I mean, whether it's for women's clothing, children's toys, or appliances, uh, what what's driving sales at Best Buy right now? How could they come out with a number like that? Charles, as you and Jeff referenced, the federal government is changing its standard on TV to digital on February 17th of 09. That's helping. Still, everyone in the consumer electronics space, inventory is growing faster than sales, so they still have to clear some inventory. Scary reference, though, one of the best, the best run retailers in consumer electronics and one of the best run retailers anywhere. Gary, should we infer that maybe the holiday season is going better than the most people believe because of this number? I don't know if you could go that far right now. I just think that Best Buy has been a lot more proactive in the way that they've managed their business plan. And I think that, again, with the failure of Circuit City, I think this somewhat shift away from Circuit City to Best Buy has created, I think, this, this number. I think that it was really contingent on Circuit City's filing. So, so, Jeff, do you agree with that? You think this is more of a company-specific issue, or should there be a ray of hope today on Wall Street for retailers in general? No, I think this is um, electronic retailer uh, specific because um, if you take a look at the apparel and the home furnishing industries, they're really hurting this Christmas season. Wow. Okay. Listen, I want to appreci appreciate it all, uh, Bert, you, and Gary, Jeff. Thanks Thank a lot, you, guys. Charles. Okay, uh, let's take it up to Connell McShane.